my dear Leo, this is your love and spirituality reading for the month of January 2019 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. So we are soon entering into Capricorn season. We were in Sagittarius season before and I read for the signs in the order of most liked videos and you can see the order I read in this time around at the community section of my channel. And thank you all for liking, watching, commenting, donating and subscribing to my channel. I'm so grateful for all of your appreciation. I also want to take this time to um, say happy holidays to all of you and also wish you a happy new year. Uh, this is a general reading for sun, moon and rising sign. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. For this reading I will use the crystal tarot by, uh, um, sorry, Elisabetta Trevisan. You see here, this is the, um, the box, <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'll start shuffling your cards. So my dear Leo, see what's going on for you. When I open the deck here, I see Six of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. Six of Swords and Knight of Pentacles, very sweet energy here. Uh, so, uh, Six of Swords, it feels like you have overcome some kind of difficulty and that you are on more, uh, more stable ground at this point. Uh, so, you have also realized something about uh, your journey and you have understood that your journey, uh, as tough as it might have been, uh, was for a reason. So, we have reached some kind of wisdom uh, because of the challenge, uh, challenges. Uh, you have been through uh, and you have kind of seen the truth uh, and with the knight of pentacles here uh, this might be someone wants to come and say the truth towards you maybe an earth sign uh, this is usually taurus uh, might be a capricorn or virgo as well but it doesn't have to be that sign it just it might talk about a careful uh, very loyal uh, stubborn uh, s <laughs> slow turtle slow energy uh, of someone like a careful loyal person maybe a very good friend uh, wants to come and tell you the truth uh, but I'm feeling this is also you right now uh, after what you have been through you are more careful uh, to choose your friends uh, you don't uh, just invite whomever uh, you're watching people and and kind of um, listening to your intuition uh, trusting uh, your own truth what your instincts are telling you um, so I'm thinking you're seeing things much more clearer uh, and you are in a very stable position uh, six uh, sixes are connection ha have connection to the lovers card and this is swords so he's talking about uh, messages uh, so they might come to a message of love someone might uh, come with some kind of proposal towards you it doesn't like overly romantic proposal it might be a proposal of friendship or uh, business or maybe there's someone that wants to talk the truth uh, towards you okay so I call the divine with love and light and here we have the knight of wands together with the six of swords so we saw the uh, knight of pentacles and here comes the knight of wands knight of wands is usually sagittarius energy but in this case it might be showing you um so knight of wands it feels it feels like it's kind of not you when i'm uh, i'm holding these cards um, it feels like uh, you might be dealing with different people, maybe different suitors, maybe two different suitors, uh, or you might be dealing with a person that oscillates between personality. Uh, sometimes they are very forward going uh, and uh, like they um, have a lot of energy resolving problems, nothing seems to scare them. And, and another day they can be very shy, overly sensitive, um, um, like the knight of pentacles i'm feeling like a highly sensitive person one day and the next day um, a little bit more player type uh, so uh, might be someone that either have these kind of different personalities uh, like dr jekyll and mr hyde i don't say that either of these sites are uh, you know more bad than the other but it, while it's oscillating it might make you your head spin okay uh, so um, 
these two uh, might either be two different characters or the same character. But since you have them on the outside, Leo, this is also how you are uh, you yourself. This is how you're mirroring yourself. So you might also take someone out on a head spin by being uh, sometimes warm and generous and sometimes really careful and maybe a little tiny bit suspicious, okay? A um, little bit judgmental, thinking that people are out to get you. Um, I'm not saying that uh, all Leos and the people Leo are dealing with are paranoid, uh, but there's a little bit paranoia here. I don't think you're trusting people. You are waiting for someone to come and tell you the truth. And meanwhile, you are not trusting people. And you might take everyone for being a player. Uh, or it doesn't matter what people come and offer you or come and say to you. It doesn't really feel like the truth. Uh, so as something is going on here. And uh, we are going to investigate further. But I really feel like this with... It's like you're not feeling that people are saying the truth and um, maybe that is going to cook up to something, okay? You probably should trust your instincts, okay? But we, we are getting closer and closer to the truth here. So um, maybe right now people that's coming up to you is kind of saying that they're telling the truth, but you don't trust them. And I'm thinking go with your own... Uh, instincts about this if it feels off it's probably off okay so i called it for archangels uh, in the four corners of the world and here we have the knave of swords and the six of swords so three uh, uh, two knights and one page so the page of swords Okay, uh, while this is going on, you might be meeting people that um, are showing themselves like they give you the picture of them being trustworthy, but you kind of don't feel that they are trustworthy. And it might be you actually mirroring that you are not trustworthy. Okay, I'm not saying that there's something wrong with you, but... Uh, maybe you are scared that you can't trust other people because other people can't really trust you. I'm not saying that you are doing something fishy, but maybe one some days you are very easygoing and the next day you are in a bad temper or don't trust anyone. So I'm thinking you need to be aware of that the situation that you see in front of you is actually a picture in the mirror. Uh, okay, but with this knight of swords, it's some kind of other energy it might be an older energy uh, it's very young <laughs> page of source uh, yeah page of source uh, but it feels like it's someone lurking in the shadow so it's very it's very complex reading this what's going on here so you might have um, two to three suitors and with the navel of swords uh, might be uh, someone you see they are kind of um, planning something and they have a chessboard here and we have kind of the moon there and the ocean here so there's someone might be having uh, feelings for you uh, but is very scared to move forward with those or there might be someone wants to manipulate your feelings and we still have the six of swords the six of swords is the only thing that feels uh, good, uh, uh, really relaxing in this reading. So the Six of Swords, uh, I'm thinking, is the energy that you are holding to keep yourself sane in this situation. Um, the Knave of Swords, um, it might be someone making your um, emotions a little bit more um, more um, wavy, okay? more You're getting more emotional with this. So it's some kind of disturbing outer energy. I don't think... It's close to you. It might be close to you, but in this case, it might be like a teenager uh, that's doing a little bit, not revolution towards you, but maybe giving you the silent treatment or acting up in some way, uh, kind of silently judging you, someone being a little bit passive aggressive. Uh, it feels like the, uh, it's all over the place, but there's so many people here. Okay, so I call the six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Leo viewers. Uh, eight of Wands. Okay, so if you might, if you have been feeling 
with the six of swords that you have taken yourself out of the fire uh, it might be that uh, there's actually going to <laughs> you're going to end up in a new fire uh, so and it, it's almost like you get out of the ashes and got into the fire but you thought you get out of the fire and and now you're fine but it's kind of fine six of swords eight of wands is beautiful beautiful cards it's some kind of message that wants to come true but it seems very complicated because these people around you um knight of wands might be you of course knight of uh, pentacles and page of swords it's very young energy and not particularly like people you can lean on uh, for helping you through this but actually probably energy that will mess things up and and make it um, you know difficult for you we also have two eights here eight of cups eight of wands so it might be that these people or this person it might be one person with a lot of personalities as way well coming in and out of your life and it can it doesn't have to be romantic it can be in your family um it might show up in many different uh, forms and shapes it might be like one can be a sibling another person can be a friend uh, one person can be you know, long lost love and things like this. One might be a new suitor, like the page of swords can be something new, but I felt it was something from the past. Um, but it's still a very, uh, it's a very young energy, but it felt like it was watching you and it must, if it's watching you, it, it must have been someone you know, or maybe it's someone that knows you and you don't know them. It can be like that as well. Okay, so tricky energy for you, Leo, or a lot of different energies. So I will just tune in to your energy, Leo, and this reading for a few seconds. Okay, so my sweet Leos, this is your future. And this is your now, there, and this is your past. So in the past, we have the Ten of Cups. So it feels like um, you have been in some kind of situation where there were a lot of love, like overflowing love, um, to the moon and back kind of love, eternal love, a very beautiful situation. And um, well, you might still be in this situation, but the Ten of Cups shows a, a lot of love and a beautiful connection, people belonging together. Um, I feel with the... Uh, the different nights energy um, that maybe someone in this situation were uh, a little bit immature okay but love was there very beautiful ten of cups it's not something that goes away easily uh, it's a strong love it's the kind of love that you have between uh, in a family um, and um, like the love that for people you could die for that kind of love okay uh, and here we have an Ace of Swords. Uh, so Ace of Swords, you see it's someone kind of mm, pointing to that crab here. And the crab is Cancer. And the Ace of Swords is also, it's uh, flanked here by the moon. Uh, so uh, what I'm feeling here is someone um, might have tested your feelings or might have, uh, you know, not trusted your feelings. We had the knave of um, no knight of pentacles energy so someone might have been um, like one step forward two steps back being very scared uh, maybe um, um, trying to make some kind of drama with this uh, ace of swords questioning you asking questions trying to figure out things about you trying to see if you were trustworthy or you might have been doing someone like that or it might have gone two ways as well uh, ace of swords is about truth but this truth it seems to be uh, very vulnerable so maybe someone has been hiding a truth uh, from you because they felt very vulnerable and they didn't really trust you or you didn't really trust them so remember it can go both ways so I don't have to say say it <laughs> okay uh, and this is the future and we have the beautiful temperance card and the temperance is a very passionate card uh, so it's a the second card for love in the major arcana so it's a, when we meet someone and our demons play so well together because we are supposed to grow uh, we are supposed to mirror ourselves in this other person 
and grow. And this is Sagittarius again. So you have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, and this is Sagittarius. So mm, some of you might be dealing with Sagittarius energy or a kind of play a kind of energy it might, it might be because sometimes um, people are very scared of the fire as well. They just come and want to poke it a little bit and then run away and come and poke it and run away and poke it and run away. So this might have been what was going on with the Knight of Pentacles and uh, the Knight of Wands. The page of swords uh, might be the aftermath of that, like a person just watching from a distance, wanting to reach out and talk, but not really doing this. Um, and here with the Ten of Cups, uh, Ace of Swords and uh, this Temperance card, it feels like the energy of the Six of Swords. I'm thinking you are fine. Through all this, you are fine. Uh, you have been... Um, poked and <laughs> feels like you have been poked and probed and you know uh, people are messed with your love uh, but it's all well because uh, it doesn't seem to affect you that much it's actually uh, it's like these trials have made your love greater uh, and your soul shines with a new uh, shine so it's very beautiful uh, so you're just learning more about yourself with these challenges challenging people you might be a challenging person yourself for the people that's around you okay uh, so this is the past and uh, here we have a beautiful king of wands so that's you uh, leo king of wands it's it's a person that feels uh, everything is possible um, they are not scared of trouble they are not scared of problems they solve problems they eat problems for breakfast and uh, what comes out is uh, like new miracles, new ideas, new... Um, so it might be that you are a very strong character like the central sun in your surrounding, um, maybe providing for a lot of people or taking care of a lot of people or being like the guide for a lot of people. Uh, so it's a very uh, beautiful uh, energy and uh, we have it here together with this ten of cups so it seems like you have a great capacity for love and for taking care of the people that you love uh, in a very beautiful and manifested way it's no secret love this is very passionate and open uh, love you 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 don't uh, you don't hold your love back it's very obvious if you love someone they will know so very beautiful okay <clears throat> And in some cases, it might be in the reverse that the person, if you're a cross watcher for a Leo person, it might be in the other way around uh, some, sometimes, okay? Uh, so, and here we have an Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So we have all this beautiful love and this beautiful capacity for, for love and creation. And also you have chances that came to you here in the past a beautiful chance of something something that wanted to be fertilized wanted to be like a chance that wants to be grabbed and and worked on uh, so ace of pentacles might be a windfall of money uh, you might get like a chance of doing something that you love uh, or you might have gotten some kind of support or a new relationship starting a new endeavor starting something um, that's a little bit friendship like or or very down to earth something that's tangible it's not only dreams it's actually manifesting as well very beautiful uh, next here uh, is a judgment so it's 20 uh, the judgment day uh, so it's a situation where someone is being very wise okay using all the wisdom that they have gained up to that point and being able to make very um, clear decisions from a situation with where we have a clear mind or a clear head. Uh, so I'm thinking you get opportunities, but you don't you don't just grab these opportunities. You're actually evaluating them, seeing if this is good enough for you or is actually a match to you. Because I'm feeling many of you Leos, you don't want to uh, give your time and energy away to to people that hasn't really reached this level of um, uh, bravery and love because this is bravery and love and yes brave and loving people needs to be there to lift up less brave and less 
loving people but in this situation with the judgment uh, I'm feeling you have uh, heightened um, requirements <laughs> a little bit that you want to um, you want people to live up to the same standard as you hold uh, you want people if they're coming with uh, bearing gifts to you uh, they need to bear the gifts uh, and have thought about it and you know mean business you need to be able to trust this, uh, whatever opportunity th this is. So you're scrutinizing this situation. You're looking at it. It's like you're going to buy a jacket and you're checking every seam. You're checking the zipper. You're checking everything. So uh, it's a good purchase. Uh, purchase. Okay. So you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to just take something for granted. Oh, this will be fine. Uh, you're actually a little bit more watchful, or you were a little bit more watchful. Because this is in the past, but for some of you watching in December, this might be what's going on now, that they might come in and offer and you will scrutinize this offer. Uh, and here we have the high priestess. So number 20 is the judgment and uh, number two, the high priestess. These two cards are connected, talking about a person listening to their intuition, using their judgment to make a judgment call. Uh, so you're very intuitive at this point. Uh, you're listening very much to your instincts. Uh, you're trusting yourself fully. You have become the, uh, the sole authority in your life together with the divine. Uh, so no human can, um, can tip you over at this point. Not uh, too much anyway. You will be reaching back your balance point. You're very balanced. Uh, and um, it's a very pure energy of uh, very highly vibrating emotions with this high uh, high priestess card but i'm thinking you're keeping your judgments a little bit for yourself um you might be telling people like this and this is how i feel but you, you only do this if they ask you it's like you are keeping things for yourself a little bit you see you watch uh you see the opportunity uh, but you might not um, reveal if you're going to take the opportunity or not with this uh, high priestess here. Um, this might be a Pisces also. And here we have also the magician. So two, two, one and an ace. That's also one. So we can say one, two, two, one. Uh, the magician. This is a person being able to take uh, the chances that they get and make something out of this. Uh, I think you are in a situation where you trust yourself solely. Um, you have your own back. You trust yourself. Uh, you take the opportunities you want to take. I don't see any, uh, anyone else involved here. Even though you have uh, the Ten of Cups here, uh, it seems like you have the Ten of Cups, but um, yes, this... It, it feels very awkward because this is a very loving situation together with others, but this is a situation where you take care of you. So it might be that you are a leader amongst people or you might be a parent or maybe you are uh, the one in your group uh, taking the decisions for the friends or uh, helping people uh, in, in your family to take out a direction, something like that. So it's like you give a lot of love, but when it comes to yourself, you have only yourself to trust. It doesn't seem bad because um, it's very authoritative, but it, it's like you have yourself to lean on. Other might lean on you, but you have yourself to lean on. Uh, so that's very strong. It's very typical Leo, actually, but... Um, uh, who is there for you is what I'm wondering if you are there for all these people the only ones there for you seems to be yourself and it's fine I don't see any problem with it uh, it just seems a little bit maybe unfair here but um, um, it seems to go great so why bother okay if you are the one that loves yourself and take care of yourself and have your own back fine uh, so you have really stepped into your soul and uh, like reach into the, your soul's power and becoming all powerful in your own life. Uh, so you are not um, you are not uh, like um, needing anyone else to have a swell life. You want other people for the love, but when it comes to taking care of yourself and your business, you seem to be very capable. Okay, uh, so that was your past. I don't see 
much action. It's more you are getting chances and opportunities and deciding which you will go with and which not and, and how you will rule your life. So it's like you're planning your um, your how you will rule. <laughs> it's planning your um, your empire. <laughs> OK, interesting energy. OK, and here we have a three of pentacles. The three of pentacles comes underneath the king of wands. So it seems like you're working a lot, putting a lot of effort into making things better, uh, preparing, perfecting, um, healing, uh, mending, working towards the future uh, in a very prosperous way. So we have the seed here. And here we have two seeds in the ground and growing to uh, one seed potential. So it's some, it's the Holy Trinity here. Um, it seems like you have a lot of things growing in your life. And, and you are kind of the magician, uh, high priestess uh, uh, authority here <laughs> that uh, models this what you want into your life. So you have truly become uh, the person that creates your life. Um, you have taken over the role as the creator of your own life. You are not leaning towards someone else to fix things for you. You are fixing them yourself. Beautiful. Okay. Next card is the Six of Wands. As you remember, we had the Six of Swords when we shuffled. It was the, uh, the marker, the most important card uh, that came true. And here we have the Six of Wands. So Six of Swords, Six of Wands. Um, it's masculine uh, love. Okay. Uh, so it means it, it seems like you have gone into like a very masculine realm of yourself where you are acting like an uh, emperor or, uh, or king and you have like love backing you up. But it's more like uh, these people that love you is uh, relying on you than you relying on them. Um, it's like you have stepped into the father authority. So you are the father figure that's taking care of people and loving them and showing them love. Uh, so uh, that seems to give it to you, like make it, it makes you, uh, it makes you content. It makes you pleased. It makes you feel on top of the world. Uh, so maybe you don't need people to take care of you. Maybe you need to take care of other people because that is making you feel content and happy. It's very beautiful. And <clears throat> this is the central card. And here we have the lovers and it comes underneath the judgment. So it's a little bit, um, it's not this um, very happy, youthful love. It's very grown up love here. And it's taking whatever consequences that comes. So um, I'm thinking if um, a person needs to go out to war, they will just say, uh, goodbye, my love. I need to go out to war and it won't be any more fuss. Uh, because the person is very uh, solid, okay? It's a person that doesn't make big dramas out of things. It's just what it is, okay? Uh, so uh, if the love relationship doesn't work out, uh, they will be equally, maybe a little bit towards the cold element to, to be able to say, okay, so it doesn't work. Uh, so we go our separate ways. Uh, it's not cold per se. It's more like a logic energy, like a person seeing, okay, this is the only way forward. So why cry about it? Why make a mess about it? Why whine? Why make a drama? Uh, this is how it is. Um, it reminds me of a thing that I heard uh, the other day. Uh, it was a person going through a tremendous trauma, losing their family. And they said they put a smile on their face and they walked on uh, every day and just um, the, their job was to get through the day with maybe not a smile, but at least with, you know, a professional attitude. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm seeing with you being very stoic, um, uh, being very accepting of what's happening and not making, um, you know, you don't whine about it. You just do what needs to be done. Or maybe this is what's asked of you. But uh, anyway, it seems uh, it seems very um, it's minimizing the suffering, <laughs> at least. OK, there's not so much suffering here. It's just a job needs to be done. So it's got to be done. Uh, and if the love wor works out fine, if it doesn't, then we deal with that. So there's no problem. Uh, there's only like working progress towards the future and very competent adult energy. Okay. 
uh, next card here. Uh, it's the King of Cups. King of Cups. Underneath the High Priestess and the Judgment. Hmm. It might be that someone has uh, taken a decision on show, giving you some grand offer. Okay. You had a lot of suitors there in the beginning. Uh, or you were courting a lot of people. And maybe this is you uh, taking a decision to move forward. Maybe with some kind of very uh, adult offer. Okay, saying to someone, okay, I have realized uh, I love you. Uh, I want to uh, spend the rest of my life with you. Not because I need you, but you make me happy and I can take care of myself. Uh, so uh, I'm wanting to give you a proposal here uh, of love ever after. So it's very beautiful. Maybe someone of these knights have grown up to become very adult uh, people that's able to do such a grand offer. Uh, or you are making this grand offer. It doesn't have to be love, even though this it's kind of implicated that it's love. It's the lovers and uh, King of Cups. King of Cups might be a Scorpio, uh, Pisces or a Cancer person in uh, your life. We also have someone pointing the edge here at the Cancer. So maybe there will be a Cancer saying the, talking the truth here. Um, but um, it, it can be... Also, sometimes a creative proposal. We have two kings here, king of uh, wands and king of cups. But it's very likely there will come a king of cups offering you love uh, or any sign. It doesn't have to be a king of cups. King of cups uh, just shows like a person that wants to have their soulmate and wants to have a family and wants to show their love. It's a grand offer. It can also be an offer of, of money or um, if you're searching for a job, this will be a grand job offering. Uh, so it's an offering, but usually it's love since it's emotional with calluses. Uh, and the next card here, it's the star card coming in underneath the magician. Uh, so it seems like Leo have been manifesting this situation together with the divine, uh, being the creator on earth, being the creators uh, in heaven. Uh, and it's two cups here, or the two calluses, or two urns that being uh, poured together. So it shows uh, it's like soul uh, made energy that's coming through here. Um, so maybe by not needing anyone, but actually loving your life and loving yourself and being able to take care of yourself, actually the love comes uh, and it's just a mirror. It's what I said, if you are not whole, if you are uh, undeveloped and uh, immature, the people you will meet is undeveloped and immature. When you grow up like this, you will meet grown up people giving uh, grown up um, um, opportunities to you and, and to the relationship that you might have together. So the Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, Lovers and King of Calluses, uh, probably someone wants to work on a relationship with you, uh, most possibly a committed a love relationship, uh, long lasting forever kind of thing. So very beautiful. Uh, congratulations, Leo. Um, big offers coming in. OK, or oh, you are giving this big offers. That might be it as well. OK, so and this is in the now. So in January, uh, we see someone might uh, talk the truth about maybe a love that has been going on for a very long time. Uh, it might be like this kind of forever love and, and maybe be with the Cancer or Scorpio, maybe Pisces. We have Aquarius here as well. Pisces again. And this is Leo energy, Leo energy. Okay. And here we have the future and it's a strength card and it's Leo again. Uh, so you just continue with your business. Nothing has changed here. Uh, King of Wands, three of, it's the lion there, the three of pentacles, the lion again, uh, both these cars is Leo. Uh, so uh, you're working on being your swell Leo self. It seems like you have found your home, you have found your center point of gravity and you, you don't have to change or, or feel unsettled or anxious. You are what you are. You have found your home inside of you. Uh, so it seems uh, uh, very solid and um, um, it's just it's like you have found some kind of platform uh, where you have leveled out a little bit in contentment is what I'm feeling. It's very content, like you're feeling uh, you don't feel strong 
desires. We see this is judgment, six of wands, uh, the strength. It's passionate, but it's not strong desires. It's very collected. It's very mature. Uh, so, yes, this would be nice if we can get it like this, but it doesn't have to be like that. I can take whatever, whatever happens. Okay. Next card is the Queen of uh, Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, it comes in the same position as it did uh, for Sagittarius. And above here you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Uh, so this might be an Earth uh, sign energy that's coming in to you with some kind of message. Um, this might also be you that, uh, again, is very content, very rock solid, knows exactly what you want. Uh, you don't feel anxious. You just feel strong. Uh, you have victory, like feeling victory in your nostrils. And um, you're not going to change your mind. You're not going to budge. Uh, you're not going to be persuaded. You're not going to be manipulated. Uh, this is very sure, sure energy. Uh, so um, with the strength card and the queen of pentacles here, it's almost like you're marrying yourself. Uh, it seems like it has already happened, but maybe it's in some way uh, solidified here. It's like your feminine side have uh, gotten a lot of um, self-respect and uh, it's not questioning itself anymore. It's just very calm and cool with being what it is. So you're probably your emotions, your instincts, what you want out of life. You're not going to change your view on that. Uh, you want what you want. It's not going to alter into something else you have decided uh, upon something and you also communicate this what is your decision um, here together with the queen of pentacles the lovers and the high priestess there can be a little bit uh, risk of a three-party relationship like a person maybe having more than one uh, suitor or maybe a, a suitor having more than one objects that they suit okay that they are pursuing uh, so that's a little bit of warning there. This is the wife and this is the mistress. Why she is the mistress, she was actually the first wife. This is Lilith. Uh, but she wanted to be on top. Adam didn't approve because it probably scared him with a female with this kind of um, uh, strong attitude. Uh, so he said to God, uh, let's create a nicer female for me that uh, can be a little bit more uh, subordinate. And the Queen of Pentacles, without the Six of Wands and the Strength card here, with just the Lovers maybe and some sweeter cards, can be a person that, um, like Eve, just um, providing people with food and, uh, and children and riches. Uh, but in this case, uh, together here, it's, it's a very strong woman. So um, it doesn't matter for Adam, he didn't trade up. All women are the same. Uh, strong as hell as <laughs> I heard a song I will put that in the description box maybe we'll see females are strong as hell I heard some other song but um, I probably said it to you also but it's already gone so I'm sorry um, okay the next card here is a knight of wands so packing up with all these suitors again. So I'm looking. We have a king of wands, a six of wands, a knight of wands. We have the magician, king of calluses, knight of wands. This doesn't have to be a person. It can be actually energy from uh, these two kings coming in into some kind of union. Maybe both people want the same thing here. Uh, ignite something, start something up, uh, fuel something, playing with fire, uh, you know, and go into the fire and get burned. <laughs> and um, yes, and you just because it burns doesn't mean you're going to die. This is what you have been through before, Leo, but this time I don't feel the fire will burn you that much or you won't be as pain struck by the drama or you won't even engage in drama anymore, but you want the passion uh, so we have judgment, uh, the lovers and knight of wands. Uh, of course, uh, this can be a situation also we see these two. Uh, so I'm thinking there's going is cooking something here. Uh, so this strong lady here, uh, there's some suitor roaming around 
uh, her, but they are kind of a little bit ignoring each other, but both are knowing that something is going to happen between these two. It's, it's like a start of something when people are falling in love. And we can also see that uh, also the knight here is looking uh, at the queen. Uh, so again, uh, there might be a three party relationship where maybe one has a happy marriage here with the Ten of Chalices and the, um, this uh, King of Cups and the, the lovers. But there's someone li like out in the hall. It's like a big court here where the queen is being spotted like someone in the um, like the soldiers of the troops of the castle is watching in the queen. OK, uh, so. Uh, interesting energy but it also comes for, from these two kings uh, so it feels like two people have a mutual attraction towards each other and sooner or later they are going to uh, kind of come together here um, in in love probably okay and the next <laughs> the next card uh, is knight of cups so Knight of Cups is Pisces again. We have a whole uh, row here with water energy. High Priestess, King of Chalices, Knight of Chalices. Uh, and we have two knights here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. The most passionate knights of all when it comes to love. But what's going on here? I'm thinking there's someone secretly have been secretly because of the High Priestess that keeps secret about what she feels. Um, and then we have a king of uh, cups. So that's a very mature love, like a person that have loved you for a very long time, I would presume, or have a very great love for you. But then, but here they, they were kind of stoic about it and, and grown up about it because you were stoic and grown up. Maybe you were contagious or maybe this was the energy that you both have worked yourself towards like a crescendo almost. But to be able to talk about this energy the person needs to come to the uh, night of calluses more romantic young and full of hope kind of state uh, so i'm thinking there's a person at least one person that has been in love with you for a long time also here but keeping it a secret and they will make an attempt uh, to um, to wake something in your heart uh, so we have this situation again, like these two females. It's the strength and the queen of pentacles, so a very strong royal queen. And, and two younger knights, so some kind of ignition happening here. And both people are looking back towards the queen. So maybe they have been moving forward or trying to move forward, uh, these people, but uh, they are still looking back and remember the queen. Uh, so this might be you doing this or this might be someone doing this towards you uh, and it might be two people like a fire sign maybe and a water sign maybe Sagittarius or Pisces uh, energy so someone might you might recycle them because we have uh, judgment here and the high priestess this is uh, specifically judgment might be rising things from the dead uh, the high priestess is more storing wisdom and secrets and memories uh, so someone have been remembering you for a long time, wanting to wake something up with you uh, and, and they are lurking around. It's like with the page of swords, like someone is watching you, dreaming about you, thinking about you, thinking about this strong woman. How can I get to her? Uh, and they kind of try to act like like they are not particularly interested, but they are flaming with desire that has gone a long way back okay they have watched you for a long time or known you for a very long time and they haven't they haven't forgotten about you okay yes yes <laughs> I don't want to do that. okay and we have a knave of wands i might have said knight of wands earlier but it's a knave it's a page uh, page of wands uh, together with the magician and the star card this is someone's soul crying out and wants something and the soul is not going to you know go silently into the night it's going to crave what it wants it has a big dream so someone is watching you here from the bushes and wants to communicate with you so interesting hmm you might get at least two offers coming in and uh, during the um, January or the spring months, February, March, April, 
uh, something like that. Um, we have a lot of different energies, but I'm seeing mostly fire and, and uh, sorry, <laughs> fire and water. We also have uh, the star card here, which is Aquarius and the Ace of Swords. Um, but uh, there's someone or two people at least that wants to cook something together with you in love. But first, it seems like a water sign might be, uh, you know, be the one that um, throw out the net towards you first uh, here. Uh, if you see the six of wands, three of, of pentacles, someone wants to work together with you, six of wands, make a victory, win-win situation, lovers, the king of cups. He's not watching the lovers, however, because it's still a little bit of a secret. So he can act like, well, maybe you and I, we could take a dinner together, you know, these kind of things and not uh, revealing uh, the big tension that has been built up. And then we have the star card. So this person goes around with a lot of hope in their heart uh, for this. Uh, and then we have this situation with we have Sagittarius there, Leo there. Queen of Pentacles is usually Virgo, can be a Capricorn or a Taurus as well. We also had Taurus energy in the beginning. Uh, and here we have these two knights that's, they're watching you. I'm thinking this is you. Or you, it might be you uh, doing this, watching someone. This is someone that you want. It's the price. But uh, it's secret still. And the person is hiding in the bushes, wants to communicate. And this is burning so hot, uh, they almost can't hold themselves. Uh, so they might come through um, through communication, but again, uh, even though maybe this person meant more business, like they are more serious, these people here are equally passionate, uh, but we don't know about their seriousness because it's just um, uh, knights and pages, uh, but the passion is um, uh, very much there anyway. So, okay, my dear Leos, uh, the light is running out here and the time as well. So I'm going to take a card for you from the uh, notes from the universe on love and connection to see what's going on here with all these Leo suitors. Maybe you are on the dating scene and, you know, dating a lot of people. So that might be the explanation, explanation for all these people. Or maybe there's just a lot of people coming home for Christmas. So, uh, Leo, you needn't worry. Uh, there's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big sillies, the universe. Okay, so that's something to meditate on. Uh, they have always loved you, but they just learning how to show it. And that was kind of what I saw. People have had these secrets and walking around, like beating around the bush instead of saying what they really meant or they really wanted. So it's interesting, not particularly adult energy, but maybe you are scary, Leo, you, with your kingdom and all and your sureness and your, you know, all your solutions. Okay, so this is the... Uh, sorry, Oracle of the Angels. Uh, so I'll take a card for that as well. For my dear Leos. Um, yes, source of life. We also had two others. Uh, fulfillment and never alone. Uh, so fulfillment going to some kind of door. Uh, source of life. Uh, the love energy. So you're very connected to the divine and never alone so the divine is walking with you we can see this also with this little knave also it's not alone because the star is watching over them there uh, so you might be feeling some kind of presence so you can know that uh, that you're actually very well taken care of uh, so i will read i guess these cards for you i wanted only one but we can't have everything we want <laughs> sometimes we get too much as leo does in this reading so the camera has a little bit problem with the light i hope it won't twitch here um a sense of fulfillment often comes from realization of a dream or the meaning of a goal you had set for yourself reflect on what uh, it is you need right now in order to experience fulfillment Create a vision in your mind of what you would most like to achieve today, this week, this year, and then take action. 
no matter how small a step might be in the direction of your dreams. My project become the perfect fulfillment of myself in harmony with the universe. I believe in myself and in my potential as a creator. I make my dream come true. I fulfill myself through my daily actions, through unconditional love, faith, wisdom and positive thinking. So be it. So really a Leo card or like um, it's, um, it's like a headline for what I told about this person that was very competent and you know, making something of their lives and, and not making a fuss out of things not going right, but actually just working towards their goal, being calm, collected, um, positive. Uh, source of life, God, the source of all life is within you, with you and around you at all times. The source of life uh, permeates everything in existence. You can move closer to this divine source simply by holding this awareness that God is everywhere in everything. Feel yourself held in his love and glow in his light. The source of all life is within me, with me and all around me. I am embraced by a great love that fills my being and brings me peace. So that's the kind of energy that you have tapped into and that's why you have become so um, so stoic because you feel that, well, everything happens for a reason. I don't need to be worried. I don't need to be afraid. I just do my thing and when my job is done, I will come home to the divine again and everything will start all over. So what's what's to make a fuss about? You're very cool right now, Leo, and never alone. The angels are here to support you through this challenging moment. Look out for signs of their presence. Uh, you might notice a lot of little coincidence and strokes of luck in your life at this time. This is confirmation that you are always surrounded by the loving guidance of these divine messengers. I draw on my vast reserve of inner strength to keep moving forward. I have faith that all things will fall into divine order for my greatest benefit. I ask the universe for its guidance and always receive its help and protection. The sun will rise and shine for me. So it seems like uh, Leo will have a lucky uh, 2019 and it comes all for, from your hard work and from uh, your position of not making a, a drama of things, but actually, you know, just working towards your goal, um, being cool, being calm, being collected, um, kind of accept whatever is going on and, and dealing with it in a very adult way. Uh, so, and this is going to be rewarding. So keep on moving towards your goal, Leo. Uh, you will soon get there. And I'm thinking you will have a choice to make with all these suitors as well. So uh, I want you to take really good care. Uh, happy holidays and a happy new year. And uh, welcome back to my next reading. I will perform in the middle of January. Okay, bye-bye.